morning once again we are here we are here we are here we have come to worship you we have come with expectant hearts my father that everything you have said you will do in our lives we have come to receive it and be partakers of the same in the mighty name of Jesus Christ thank you my father for this level Thank you for everything you have done this month, my God. And as you say that this is the month of what the Lord has done. And my Father, we have stood here this morning because we know that you are going to do it. You are going to change our lives. You are going to heal us. You are going to bless us. Every chain is going to be broken. We are going to receive our deliverance and salvation this day. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, my Father, for your presence. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your fellowship. And I pray this morning that anything that will stand against this service, it is hereby terminated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We have stood in the gap for our people. We have stood in the gap for our families. We have stood in the gap for our country. And my Father, this morning once again, as you have said that every altar must be broken, that every covenant must be broken, I stand in confidence because I know it is done in Jesus' mind mighty name that by the power upon this altar that no other altar will stand from this hour in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that every wickedness will come down right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and this country as you have said it must be free it must be free and we stand to declare that it is free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ no person no power no principality, no name, no kingdom will stand against what you have said. And we are standing in that word and we are standing in that promise because my father, this country must be saved no matter what. And all the people that live in it must be saved, must be free, must enjoy their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I bless your name, my father, this morning. And I pray that your Holy Spirit will be with us until the end. That everything that pertains every service this day will be for the glory of your name. We bless you and we lift you up. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I want to give you wisdom for warfare. And when you are going to war, what you are supposed to do. Number one, 
Warfare requires preparation. Ukienda vita lazima ujianda ujiandae. Warfare requires preparation. Tulikuwa tunaomba kuhusu kuvunja madhabahu. And this is the first time the Lord gave us a very long time to work on the envelopes. And we are still working, we are still in the 40 days. We are still in there is war kwenda mbele. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo ukienda vita lazima ufanye nini? Ujiandae. Jambo la kwanza unafanya kwa kujiandaa. Spying. Spying kupeleleza. Kupeleleza inamaanisha unataka kujua yule ambaye mnaenda kupigana na yeye. Yule ambaye mnaenda kupigana na yeye ako namna gani? Amejiandaa namna gani? Ako na technique gani? Ako na askari wanafanana namna gani? Bwana asifiwe. Ako na vifaa gani? You must do spying to know what they have, how they are prepared, how intelligent they are, how their soldiers are. Ujue ukienda vita na watu wanapigana na left, you will not prepare the same way with people who fight when you're going to a where people fighting with the right. Munajua hivyo? Do you know that? Wale ambao wampigania hamwezi jua. Ukipigana vita na mtu anapigana na left, most of the time they will always take you by surprise. So when you are going to fight and you realize if you are left-handed in war you are an, yani we ni dhahabu kwa sababu tumezoea unangojea slap inakuja na namna hii so wewe uh, unakava you always you know you you all you just we always assume everyone is right-handed so if i'm slapping you with my right you always expect it will come from the left but if this person is left-handed wakati unapeleka kichwa ati unaenda kuhepa hapo ndio mahali anakupiga kwa mapua badala ya chin do you know when you are going to fight and those soldiers are short mnapigana vita tofauti na wale ambao ni warefu so that is what spying involves unajua askari wao wanakaaje how are their soldiers what do they have wanatumia panga wanatumia mishale Watu ambao wanatumia bows and arrows you prepare differently because you know from afar they can still attack you. Mwa anatumia panga lazima amfanye nini? Wengi wao lazima mkutane in as much kuna wale wanafa, wanatupa. If they having guns, if they having explosives all those. So in the same way when you are going for spiritual warfare you have to prepare and know. We know our enemy is the devil. Na tunajua kile ambayo anafanya nini? Anapenda ama kile ambacho anataka kufanya. Lazima tuelewe kwanza anataka kufanya nini. Bwana asifiwe. Usiende tu kupigana ati sasa tunavunja madhabahu ati tunaenda tu kuvunja madhabahu. Madhabahu ya wachawi na madhabahu ya mababu. Yaani madhabahu ya mababu wa 1850 Aifanani kama madhabahu ya mganga aliyewekea jirani ya 1990. Yote ni madhabahu. But the powers and the and the intensity of those two altars hazifanani. Bwana asifiwe. So wengine wenu kuna madhabahu tumekuwa tukibomoa, mnafikiri tu ni madhabahu ya hivi hivi. Unasema ha, niliona aunti yangu alienda kwa mganga na kumbe hata si aunti yako alienda kwa mganga nyanya ya nyanya ya nyanya ya nyanya ya ule nyanya ambaye ulisikia ule nyanya mwingine so it is almost five or six generations so you must understand you must know inahusu nini inakuwa namna gani so that you you know how to deal with it sawa sawa number two, take, number two of that number one, take count of what you have Fanya hesabu ujue uko na nini. Umepata wale ni malefti, wewe uko na malefti wangapi? Umepata pale wale wako na bunduki, wewe uko na nini? Unahesabu kulingana na watu na vifaa. Bwana asifiwe. Kama wako na watu ambao wanajua kukimbia, we pia unafaa kujua uko na watu wangapi wanaweza kukimbia. Na hao watu wanaweza kukimbia kama hauna how do you work? against these people who know how to to run unatafuta watu wako na miguu kama ma, mawe 
so that wakati hao wanakimbia they are able to kuwatega waanguke so you you also look at what you have usiende kupigana wewe uko na chinungu na wale wako na bunduki they will not even fight you atakuonyesha bunduki and you will surrender na watachukua hizo fimbo wa wataandike and the war is over are we together ukienda kupigana na mtu ako na gana wewe uko na rungu hata anahitaji kufaya they don't even require to fire akikuwekea tu hivi akwambie hands up kila kitu chini utaweka atakuja achukue na akutaandike properly na akuache hapo na hiyo fimbo yako ulikuwa mbeba because it does not match so also take stock of what you have if you do not have what it takes afadhali hata uombe peace badala ya kupigana bwana asifiwe you would even rather make a peace covenant instead of fighting number three of that number one, understand the war and know what it takes hiyo nafikiri nimeeleza nikieleza hizo points zingine if it is a war that wants physical fight you fight if it is a war that wants muonge you do what you talk praise god because it's not every war that requires fighting si kila si kila vita inahitaji kupigana vita zingine zinahitaji mazungumzo you see like what is going on between kenya and somalia now mmejua nini si mnasikia kitu inaendelea ama hata mmejua ama mnajua kdf wako somalia eh kdf wako somalia lakini somalia sasa imeamua kukaa ngumu it is telling kenya you are meddling with what with our affairs kenya cannot go to fight why should we go and fight some of those wars require kuongea muonge muelewane you come to an agreement so we want this this and we want this and that and you evaluate praise the lord number two, wisdom for welfare understand your enemy and that understanding after you have gathered everything in preparation uelewe adui wako ni nani some some enemies you are fighting are actually not your enemies wametumwa unaona kama wale majambazi wanakuvamia wanakuua so in the process of you trying to negotiate wanakuambia sisi hata sisi unajua hata hatukujui si tulipewa picha tukaambiwa tukumali tukumalize so you will be calling the police on these people who are killing you but the real killer is not these people who are killing you is somebody behind the scenes bwana asifiwe so pia ni vizuri kuelewa unapigana na nani because if you have not dealt with the real enemy our agents you will finish them and the the enemy will still get other agents bwana asifiwe ndio ni muhimu sana kuelewa kuhusu vita usinge tu kupigana wewe utapigana uwe useme nimeomaliza then and after two weeks you are still having the same kind of thing and you are wondering si nilifikiri nilimaliza wale sio huku maliza you just eliminated the agent but the real enemy remained understand who is your enemy some of us are fighting our fam- our, our siblings our parents our our, our friends na ambaye anapigana na wewe hata si huyo ambaye unapigana naye eh. uko kuandaa mnapigana na mume wako mnapigana na mke wako and now nyenye nyote mmekuwa maadui mume ni adui wa mke mke ni adui wa mume lakini hata kati yenu hakuna adui adui ni ule mtu aliyopatia kitanda siku ya harusi na mnalalia vizuri juu ni za ni zawadi so vile mnalala kwa hiyo kitanda mnapika vita ya kesho as you wake up there is new war for every day so you always fighting you're saying we want to divorce but there is the person who's divorcing you people is not even your husband is not even your wife is the person behind the gift hallelujah person behind the honeymoon so understand who your enemy is so you have divorced after you have divorced and the person who gave you the gift alikuwa anasema amuta why yani you will never get married so even if you get married again you will still come out mwenye atachi wewe nyumba unajua most mara nyingi atabaki na hiyo kitanda kama ni mume atabaki na hiyo kitanda kitanda itaendelea kazi 
And the agent is going to <laughs> praise the Lord. So the ule muke ameenda. You have brought a new wife and you are again fighting. So unajiambia wewe ndio hauna bahati na wanawake or na wanaume. But the real enemy is still alive. So always get to understand who is the enemy. Praise God. Hizi vita kidogo kidogo nimeona mna reflect sana especially kwa ndoa nimeona mki reflect sana 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 eh eh reflect so that you understand don't destroy your marriage because you think your husband is the problem or because you think your wife is the problem or because you think your mother is no is the problem kumbe shida ni mtu amekaa kando girlfriend uliacha 10 years ago for example rind okay hallelujah number 3 in wars of warfare every strategy you apply for war is top secret praise god every strategy you apply for war is top secret yani kila kila program kila mipango kila njia utatumia kwa vita inafaa kuwa siri yako hata wale ambao mnapigana nao hata hata inaitwa waje soldiers Not all of them are told what is supposed to be. Yaani atukai tukawaambia tumeka. So tutafanya, tutafanya, tutafanya. You tell those people who are responsible for that thing only. Hii ndi inafaa kuwa hivi mtaenda hivi mtaenda hivi mtamaliza. Tukifika pale there is another group that is supposed to take over. You don't tell everyone like sasa our entire KDF is not in in Somalia. Si ni ukweli? The whole KDF of Kenya is not in Somalia. So not the whole KDF of Kenya knows what happens in Somalia. It's only the people who are there at the war. Hao ndio wanajua nini wanafaa kufa. Wakuje kwambia mtu wako hapa kisia ati tunaingia msituni hapa tukitoka hapa eh, Garissa hapa isiole tunaingia hivi alafu ndio tutapita kwenda Somalia. Afanyie nini? Si atakuwa amekaa na leo anaanza kupiga story ati unajua <laughs> nani alinipigia simu akaniambia ati wanaingia wanaenda. Yeah? The commander said no wale ambao wana implement ndio wanajua and some of them are not said until last minute last last minute kabisa bwana asifiwe and the problem we have sometimes as so sometimes most of the times as believers when we are engaging in war yani to kuanikira tuna yani unaanika at you are doing this you are doing that you are doing this you are, you are, and you wonder why you you did not succeed it is because you exposed all your weapons you exposed all your strategies praise god squeeze nasikia watu wanasema do not even share your plans let people see let people see hata biblia inatuambia pray in secret and your reward will be in public a good war is not fought in public a good war is fought in in the secret so the evidence in the public ndio inaonyesha kwamba hii vita ilikuwa sawa na ilipangwa vizuri bwana asifiwe even hata envelopes some of you especially when when you live with many people who are unbelievers or even hata kama wewe mwenyewe imani yako haijakuwa vizuri Unaenda unaweka hapo mabasha unaweka hapo mabasha kila mtu aone kwamba unaomba ninaombea hizi mabasha nikiweka kafara vile hiyo bahasha nimeandika jina yako Mungu atatenda jambo <laughs> wewe mwenyewe unajiingiza kwa majaribu because even that person some of the people who believe that something must happen yani eh konegete ili aone hiyo mabadiliko ikifanyika So vile unaomba wanaangalia hiyo bahasha wanasema <laughs> wacha ombe tu hata mimi ninataka kuona hiyo mabadili hiyo mabadiliko and other people who do not even know because maybe you are living with them you do not even know that probably they are your enemies because they have seen this is what you are doing they are also countering praise god so zingine vile tuna especially as believers you give the devil mileage you tell the devil this is what you want to do And by the time you are finishing imearibika and you are wondering what happened and you start questioning your faith your faith is okay it is just foolishness ya kutojua kwamba your strategies are supposed to be secret bwana asifiwe 
Kwa hivyo si kila kitu. Hata hii maombi wengine tunafanya. Wengine wenu hata muli kama hii mchanga. Wengine wenu hata mlituma relatives wao walete. Anakuletea mchanga kwa nini? How do you explain to? Sasa nikikutuma mchanga si utaweza unaenda kufanyia nini? Di, kama ufanye kwa department ya agriculture ya kwenda kupima kama mchanga iko na nutrients unataka mchanga daktari uende kufanyia nini Eh eh Mumeona hivi tumepitia hii wiki Si mumeona ni kwa sababu mlifika mahali mkawacha kufanya nini kufikiria and you exposed we exposed our weapons Bwana asifiwe So vi, 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 vifa unatumia kwa vita Hauonyeshi yeyote not even your friend not even your friend Kenya does not show its weapons to Uganda to do what at least ndio tutaendea Somalia Kesho mkienda kupigana na Uganda hapo atawamaliza kwa sababu wanajua mko nani mko na nini Nyenye ndio mnashtua watu wote hey, so they had this we didn't know at that time when fighting has inafaa kuwa Bwana asifiwe So everything any time we are going into spiritual sessions that require warfare tafadhali wacha kutangaza some of you are having issues in business huko hii wakati wa madhabahu mnaambia hey, kuanzia next week yani hapa kwa soko mtashanga watashanga nini watashanga nini watashanga watakushangaza so watashindwa kuuza hey, ile mshangao iko kwa sababu walikutangulia because of your foolishness praise god tunakata ujinga inaitwa ujinga kwa Kiswahili foolishness si ati na watu si yani huko tam eh huko tamanya rende eh inaitwa ujinga kwa Kiswahili more ngeringa na baram ukumbafu sikia mudu foolishness yani foolishness ni ile hali ya kufanya vitu kama hauelewi kama haujui bwana asifiwe so msishinde mkitangaza yani ngoko beke randa masabo eh nikitambo ngoko ra 40 days utajua uji atajua juu nini Weomba Mungu atakujibu kwa wa? kwa wazi and you don't even have to confirm to them ati ni kwa sababu nilikuwa nakuombea unaambia tunamshukuru Mungu Bwana asifiwe and that is also our secret eh kiona tuna smile smile amujui kitu tunafanya Bwana asifiwe number four. every war is meant for victory ni number four, si ndio kila vita inahitaji ni unaenda vita ukijua una ushindi Nobody is fighting to lose but in the fight there must be a winner and there must be a loser. Kila mtu anapigana, anapigana kwa sababu anajua atashinda. Lakini kwa hiyo vita ukweli ni kwamba lazima kutakuwa na mshindi, ni lazima kutakuwa na yule atakayefanya nini? Atakayeshindwa. Kwa hivyo katika hiyo hali ya kupigana unashinda ukiangalia vita inaendelea namna gani? Namna gani? Hamtoki tu na kuenda. You see like what Joshua did. Wakati walianda vita akaona Mungu alimwambia watashinda enda vita lakini akafika akaona hao maadui wanawashinda akapiga hesabu hii siku inaisha na siku ikiisha inaamuliwa kesi inaamuliwa kwamba vita imeisha na mshindi anatangazwa akasema jua ninataka usimame mpaka tufanye nini tushinde that is a strategy every time as the war continues you evaluate you evaluate and see your position and change strategy Mnaweza kuwa mliamua kufanya hivi but in the process ukapata hiyo njia mkiendelea mtaanguka change praise god change the strategy bwana asifiwe so keep on monitoring how the war is going and as the lord will guide us kuna wakati anasema shikilia hapo hapo kama kupe muzitoke munaka yani unasikia unasikia kimeumana lakini unakaa because the lord has said stay there is a time the lord says stop there is a time he says i want you out and you get out there is a time he says take it easy don't even fight i want to do the fighting and i love me kwanza nasikianga tukifika kwa vita anafika akisema i want you to relax so that i fight because inakupiga na na bumbo wazi sana 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 but keep on evaluating the fight and as you evaluate uh, evaluate the fight finally as you evaluate the fight unaamua kama ni kuendelea na vita ama ni kuwa kuacha to seek peace you can either seek peace with the enemy 
Haimaanishi unaenda kumwambia ati tumeacha vita. Una unatulia. We will fight another. You better come out alive and fight another time than die and not fight again. Bwana asifiwe. Or you seek for help. Una, unaitisha msaada. Bwana asifiwe. Unaitisha msaada. Si ujinga kuitisha msaada wakati umeenda vita ukashindwa. Praise God. It could be your own war, but when you reach unapata kwamba you must win, but you are not able seek for assistance. Itisha msaada or sitisha vita. And even sometimes even what happens, yeah, there are people some of you have never even been delivered. Some of you have not been delivered because wakati tunangangana kukukomboa, Mungu anasema, huyu mtu, hii nyumba unajua inafaa kujazwa. Mkitoa hii kitu, hii nyumba inafaa kujazwa. Mahali yako hata mkianza kujaza amuta amuta weza and if you remove this demon and you know this the policy when this demon gets out it goes it goes inarudi na wengine saba ambao ni wabaya zaidi kumshinda so it means this person will automatically be killed so anatuambia huyu wacha kwanza Leave, leave that demon to be there build their faith let them have the word let them have the knowledge and then at the appropriate time i will tell you to deliver them and we do not take it as losing because we rather leave this uh, bad demon than have a, a, a worse and a worst inside of you because wakati hao wanaingia most of the time your state does not become worse most of the time they take you away kwa sababu wanajua hatutakuacha tutaendelea kupigana mpaka tuhakikishe uko sawa so they will not give us another opportunity to take care of you and make you well bona sifiwe so as we are working on this thing even some of the altars some of them we never finished we never finished breaking at once because the lord knows anajua anasema hii kitu ninataka mvunje ndio but we will not finish it today So we will do this and then we will do next like that. Ninafanya sometimes when we are giving these offerings for three consecutive sessions. Unapata mara ya kwanza ukianza, unaangoja hapo katikati unaona hakuna mabadiliko. By the time unafika ya December, ndi unaona mabadiliko yamefanyika. Kwa sababu gani? If the, it was removed in the first time, the condition will not have become good. The condition will have become worse. Praise God. So wakati tunapigana evaluate and make that decision and as we are guiding you in this journey there are, there are things even when you tell us we tell you waachana nayo hiyo tutashughulikia hiyo we will do this based on how the lord will guide us on your state bwana asifiwe but there are two things i just want you to remember number one, weka siri ya vita always keep the secret for war bwana asifiwe and let us try as much as possible to prepare for war msingie tu hizi as we say we are praying for 40 days don't just come at tunaenda kuomba unataka nini baada ya 40 days prepare tell god have expectation so that tukimaliza 40 days you have seen what has happened at least till our altar we prepare because you know i'm praying for this for this person i'm praying for this for my marriage i'm praying for this for my children but even some of these pre- these sessions of 40 days 30 days inaitaji the same prepare no what do i want how will i do this na mgekuja we don't give you just atuongeleshi tu atisa tunaongelesha ili muende we are imparting you we are empowering you so that at the end of the 40 days you are able to achieve what you came into prayer with bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo tukiendelea na hizo 40 days and even as today's service goes on let's just ask the lord to enable us to see wisdom to receive wisdom for these remaining days that at the end of the 40 days and at the end of today's service tutakuwa tumepokea kile ambacho tunataka praise god let us rise up ambia mungu atupe hekima na tuwezeshe baada ya hizi siku 40 
tukue tumepokea kile ambacho tumekuja ilikuwa ni mwanzo mpya ilikuwa ni kupata uwisho ilikuwa ni kupata ushindi dhidi ya nguvu za giza nguvu za uchawi madhabahu mengine yote tupate skiliza shetani yupo na lazima tumjulishe kwamba sisi pia tumemfahamu Mungu you can also watch the power and uplifting sermons live on YouTube channel every saturday from now going forward Nobody in this church is dying before the time in Jesus name. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscription button on the right. For all prayer requests and information, call the number on the screen. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 4. My message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with the demonstration of the Spirit's power. Gospel Embassy Network TV The place to feed on heavenly bread